and I've never been on a team that was as special as BYU lacrosse. I had a really good friend who moved in just to the area that we lived in, and his dad was coaching for his team, and he'd been playing for two or three years. They just invited me to come out and give it a shot when I was like in seventh grade, and um, I just fell in love with it. I came back home that night, and I told my parents that I was ready to, to transition to playing that sport. Um, well, for me, I enjoyed just the aspect of um, skill behind the game. I saw a lot of aspects of lacrosse that relate to other sports. And so it was a really fun transition for me to use the eye-hand coordination from other sports that I'd played. And my mission timed out perfectly. I had an ACL surgery in March of 2020. And then on those two years, um, I started off taking it nice and easy, just heal and be ready to go for a season of lacrosse and so having those two years helped me rehab my body had some time before tryouts to be prepared for that uh, it was always a dream of mine to play sports just at the next level um, i was able to meet coach schneck and coach klinger through my brother-in-law jared cotter who played on the team and they were just excited to have a, another person to come out for the byu lacrosse team i was super grateful for the opportunity to, to be at this university and, and play with a, a team you team that is unique. Uh, we start every practice and every session with a prayer and a spiritual thought. Everybody's just great friends with everyone. And something that's been special that sets us apart from everyone else is um, what we do on and off the field. We've had opportunities to um, work together and grow spiritually and serve those around us and just be part of the community rather than just the lacrosse team.